1, Scene 3 of Hamlet begins before Laertes departs for France. He and his sister Ophelia talk about his trip, promising to write each other often. However, Laertes quickly steers the conversation to Ophelia and Hamlet's relationship. He tells her it's not a good idea to get too involved with Prince Hamlet because a man of Hamlet's stature doesn't really get to choose his wife, so showing affection could get her reputation into trouble. While Ophelia promises to take his advice to heart, their father interrupts, surprised to see Laertes hasn't left yet. After Laertes leaves, Polonius reiterates what Laertes told Ophelia regarding Hamlet. Ophelia claims that Hamlet's expressions of love are sincere, but her father still says no. As the scene closes, Polonius forbids her to see Hamlet, and Ophelia submits. This scene acts to introduce and develop characters further, building the framework for the plot and to get to know Ophelia and Laertes. For instance, Laertes shows himself to be a caring brother. He comes off as polite and practical and being well-traveled. Clearly, he knows the etiquette of the elite. Ophelia, for her part, shows herself to be young and inexperienced, but also earnest and without cunning. She is sincere in her love to Hamlet, but appears oblivious to the potential darker side of a young man's intentions. Nonetheless, the scene introduces their relationship and the audience sees Hamlet through a new lens. Both Ophelia and Laertes seem thoughtful, which contrasts to what we see with their father, Polonius. Polonius seems self-absorbed and politically minded, even speaking in political fashion with his children. Scene three acts to provide more backstory and to move the plot along, as well as to expose more of the social customs and hierarchy of Denmark.